The Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max look identical and share a lot of hardware. The more premium Max model has got better front end to your cameras and has faster charging. But that begs the question, does it make sense to spend extra for this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max over the Redmi Note 9 Pro? Well, we are about to find out. But before we go ahead with the full review of this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, be sure to subscribe to the Gadgets 360 YouTube channel and click that bell icon so that you're the first to know when we have a new video. First, I want to talk about the build because these phones just keep getting bulkier with each new release. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is big and bulky. It measures 8.8mm in thickness and weighs 209 grams, which makes one-handed use very difficult. One of the primary reasons of the bulk of this Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is its monstrous 5020mAh battery. And in our usage, we could get about a day and a half worth of usage out of this phone before plugging it in. With our usage, the smartphone easily went beyond a day and a half before needing to be charged. In our HD video loop test, it lasted us for 17 hours and 10 minutes, which is a good score. The supplied 33 watt charger is one of the reasons why the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max costs more than the Note 9 Pro. This charger took the phone from 0 to 52% in 30 minutes and to 90% in an hour. The device does get hot when charging rapidly. Now let's cut to the chase and get to the main point that separates the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max from the Redmi Note 9 Pro. And you've guessed it right, it's the cameras. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has a 64 megapixel primary sensor along with a wide angle camera, a macro camera and a depth sensor. It has lots of camera modes but the short video feature stands out which restricts clips to 15 seconds. It's useful for all you Instagrammers and TikTokers out there. Now let's talk about the camera performance. Daylight shots taken with the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max turned out quite well. Photos look like they have been sharpened which might not appeal to everyone. If you zoom into an image, you will notice that the details are good but there is some grain in the shadows. For close-ups, the phone manages a soft bokeh effect while shooting subjects which helps them stand out. We had to try more than once to get the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max to focus where we wanted, but the resulting image was nice and sharp. The wide-angle camera on the device offers a wider field of view, but there is a considerable drop in the level of details. Xiaomi has implemented wide-angle correction, which prevents barrel distortion in the output, a neat touch. We've seen so many smartphones with poor macro cameras, but the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max isn't one of them. This phone's 5 megapixel macro camera has a 2 cm focus distance and it captures very good details as long as you have enough light hitting the subject. Portrait mode showed good edge detection and the phone could distinguish between a subject and the background. However, it couldn't detect the gap between a person's arm and body and missed out on blurring this area. When shooting in low light in the regular mode, we noticed that the phone managed to keep noise under control. This came at the cost of details though, which was visible on zooming in. With night mode enabled, it looks like the phone combines multiple exposures. The output is sharp with much better detail and objects in the shadows are more visible. We were curious to see if the 32 megapixel selfie shooter on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max gives it an edge over the Redmi Note 9 Pro. In daylight, you get sharp selfies, but they are smoothened as beautification is enabled by default. There is a portrait mode for the selfie camera as well and it does manage to accurately separate the background from the subject. In low light, there is a drop in camera performance and the output has fine visible grain. Video recording tops out at 4K 30fps for the rear camera and 1080p 30fps for the selfie shooter. In daylight, when shooting at 1080p, the camera meters light well and stabilizes the output. However, in low light, it tries to stabilize the footage resulting in a shimmer effect. There's no stabilization at 4K, which results in a shaky footage. The Snapdragon 720G is a pretty powerful chip that can handle day-to-day -day tasks with ease and will never make you wait for long as it loads apps. Gaming is handled well and the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max managed to keep load times down. When playing PUBG Mobile, it defaults to the high settings and we could play this game without any stutter. But the phone did get warm to the touch after 20 minutes. 
While the big display is not great for single handed use, it is very helpful while gaming and watching videos. The display does not have a high screen refresh rate like the POCO X2 and the Realme 6 Pro. So it does not feel as smooth as those devices, but it isn't a deal breaker. It has good viewing angles and is bright enough when outdoors. The display has a layer of Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which should help it withstand daily use. I'm happy to report that the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has a white notification light in the earpiece and an IR emitter at the top. The power button is on the right side and it is home to the side mounted fingerprint scanner. I wasn't happy with its positioning since it is higher than where your finger rests naturally. However, it is quick to unlock the device. The rear of the phone has a glossy finish and it picked up smudges quite easily and we had to wipe it quite often. Xiaomi does offer a case in the box that can help. Finally, let's talk about the software. The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has MIUI 11 on top of Android 10 and our unit was running the April 2020 security patch. Sadly, there's too much pre-installed bloatware and too many spammy notifications. Otherwise, the software experience is pretty much the same as what we saw on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. The new Redmi Note 9 Pro Max offers faster charging and packs in better cameras than the Note 9 Pro. For someone on a tight budget, the amount saved by getting the Redmi Note 9 Pro instead of the Max could be well worth it. However, if you are willing to spend, the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is the better pick. Comparable variants of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and the Redmi Note 9 Pro have a difference of just a thousand rupees for which you get better high resolution cameras and faster charging and that makes this choice very easy. The POCO X2 and the Realme 6 Pro are other suitable alternatives at the same price. And that was our review of the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now, will you buy the smartphone for a starting price of 16,499 rupees? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.